Hello everyone, today's DIY project I'm going to talk about how to replace the battery of this Porter cable uh, cordless drill. This is the battery. Since this one is pretty old, the battery if I want to purchase is pretty expensive. Yeah, basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to replace the original battery with this uh, 18650 batteries. As you can see, this is the battery. There's a four screw here and I already take it off. Put it aside and if you open the cap and what really inside is all those uh, a battery cell. If I dump it out and you can see uh, this one if I remove it, this is, is very useful because this is the interface I'm going to use. The rest of them should be gone. Put aside. And I also leave, I need the case for sure. And those are very useful stuff. The next what you need is six of those uh, 18650 battery cell, the lithium. Okay, let's first connect the battery. And the battery just, this is a positive. This is a positive reverse and uh, this is positive again so they're doing uh, alternatively so I just using a tape just to tape them so the same thing I'm using the double tape adding the second layer So same direction as the bottom. So this is positive and this is positive. This is positive towards this side again. So, um, so what you should look like is just like this. Positive, positive, negative, negative, negative. So the next is just to solder the, the battery cell. So let's make first connection. The first connection is from, you can, as you can see, this is a negative coming out. So all the positive connect to the second level negative. And uh, negative basically they just connect together. And uh, you make the connection line like this. After you finish this, and you have to flip. Remember this one goes to from positive to negative, negative, to positive, positive goes to this negative and eventually it will end up here so let's make connection, same connection on this level alright, right, now this is the final connection uh, as you can see here, I mark it as a negative so this one is zero it goes in, we flow to here and this positive goes to 4.2 and they are connected, this is a pair and it goes to here and connect to uh, this negative, continue 4.2 and flow to uh, 8.4 at this point. So 8.4 they are connected this pair and continue to go to the next level negative which is 8.4 .4, and eventually this is 12. So uh, and uh, here is a negative, this is 12. Ne next step just to connect to the, the BMS, the battery management, uh, the circuit board. So this is 25 amp prior uh, protection uh, BMS board. Um, as you can see, if I just lay out this, this way, this is B1, which is exactly this 4.2, and B2, this is 8.4, and the B plus is 12, and B minus, which is the negative. That is exactly how it marks at the back. Um, so if I just lay out this one as this, so basically the connections will be very, very easy. So um, I'm just uh, doing the connection right now. And always make sure this one, uh, anytime uh, it can pull into the housing uh, very nicely. Okay, this is very nice. I just make connection right now. 
Okay, now all the connection is done. And the, this is the final. How it looks like. Okay, so. The next is just connect to the interface. This is existing interface. Uh, I think I need to put something like this. So this is the interface we have. As you can see, originally these two uh, negative and positive, uh, they are tapped to the, uh, the, the cell. Now without those fixture, this one becomes a little bit loose. So um, what I'm going to do, drill two tiny hole here and using a, a small screw just to fix this to uh, uh, copper into the base. Okay, just find two little screw. Alright, right now both of them are very tight on it. So in the original circuits, there's a, I believe it's a temperature sensor between the positive and in the middle. So uh, I don't think this one needed for this uh, uh, lithium battery, so I'm just going to take it off. So that's it. So unfortunately I tested a couple of times using the glue gun solution. It doesn't work at all because it cannot hold that force. Uh, the push force is so very hard. Um, eventually what I find out is from here I just using the high speed rotation tool just to pre-drill a hole from here. And the next is to find a very long screw just to uh, screw this uh, interface board to the cap. This is a screw. Alright, with these two screw in place, um, as you can see, one of them is a bit longer, it can pop out, but it doesn't matter. This is at the back of the interface, it won't affect the functionality at all. Um, so uh, that was this board is firmly gets uh, attached to the, the cap. Okay, I think I can, we can move to the next step, is just to finish all those, uh, the final connection build the charger. This is the original charger from the porter. And uh, if you just open it, I already take off all those uh, circuits, original circuits here, and only leave the interface. As you can see here, the interface, what really matter is just the positive and the negative. The next, what you need is to find a recycled 12 volt uh, power adapter. And this one is pretty good. This is rated as six quarter ampere. So it's pretty good, very powerful charger, and um, um, I just soldered this one with uh, correct positive and negative. So uh, that's it, and the next, uh, maybe I just glue this one, either glue or not glue, and uh, I think that is the charger. And uh, Okay, now the battery before assembly into the, the case, so I, we need to do uh, the voltage uh, the, uh, measurements for each cell when it's charging to see if work or not. So this one, the first cell, is 2.8. So if we got 2, that is 5.8. So if we get to the third one, or 9.9, 9.6. Okay, I guess this is fine. So the charging is happening right now. So let's wait for some time. Uh, and when the cells are fully charged, then we uh, uh, do the, the testing on the cordless drill. So now it's time just for uh, set everything up. So we need to uh, using the tape just to uh, make sure all the circuits gets covered.
All right. Now every contact, every contact has been taped very well. Nothing get exposed. Um, so now it's, it's time to do the assembly. So this is the final installation. All right, the cap get a little bit pop out. I think because of the um, the height, uh, the cell I have plus uh, the BMS get a little bit uh, uh, overheated than this uh, the case. So, but I think it won't affecting uh, the functionality. So, um, if we give a quick try, so everything is fine. Okay, now the battery got sort of charged, so uh, let's give a test. So it works perfectly. So okay, so that is today's DIY project. Basically it's just using the 18650 plus the BMA circuit board to replace the original the batteries for the cordless drill. If you like my video, please give a thumb up or just leave your valuable comments under the video. Thank you for watching.